Hey, what's up? Today we're going to build something that is pretty spicy. It's just moving colors. Uh, I made this a long time ago, and it's got over a thousand clones now, so I guess it's pretty popular. So why don't we go ahead and build it? Uh, I think it'll be it'll be even better this time. Let's, uh, as always, we got the agenda. If you're pretty comfortable with some of the earlier stuff, just check the uh, description below. I'll have all the timestamps in there. Anyways, intro and demo, already done. It's my favorite part. We'll first go into Webflow. As always, we start from a blank project, so we're going to build everything from scratch. And then I'm going to hop into the Webflow interaction. It's not uh, not too fancy, uh, so we'll just walk through that. And then some stuff you'll learn. We're going to go through a full screen responsive layout. You'll see this thing uh, takes up the full screen there. And what am I? I'm max screen, so I mean, you could size this however you want. Uh, so we'll get into absolute positioning and just a little bit of flexbox. We'll do viewport width and viewport height units in this one. We'll look at Webflow interaction design, and we'll be using the CSS backdrop filters, which are in beta and just filters in general. All right, let's get into it. Got a completely blank project here. Going to go ahead. I'm not even going to style the body right now. Let's drop a div. I always start with page wrapper. Set this to overflow hidden so that uh, if something grows outside the width of the box, it doesn't give us horizontal scroll or anything like that. OK, let's keep moving. I'm just going to call this section. It's going to get a min height of 100 viewport heights. And we'll set the width to 100%. And then let's see here. Let's just go ahead and start adding our circles. I'm gonna call this circle. Just looking to see. This will be 90 viewport widths and 90 viewport widths. Sorry, 90 viewport height. And I'm going to, let's see, what else do we want? This is gonna have absolute position. I'm not gonna set this yet. I'll tell you why in a minute. Gonna give it a background color. I don't have the colors ready for you yet. 100 viewport width for the radius. So I got this CSS gradient.io website and I just built this little gradient. I think it's probably the same as the Instagram colors to be honest, but this is where I'm gonna grab the colors from. So the first one we'll just give this color. And then I think that's all we probably wanna do for one circle. Let's keep that there. So let's duplicate this. They're all just going to be right on top of each other since they're position absolute. The first one, we'll call this uh, purple and give it top left. Second one, what's our next color? Red. Call this red and send it to the top right. Let's grab that red color. Go away. Background color. All right, that's red now. Next one we want is orange. Oh, let's give it a combo class first. We got red. This one we'll call orange. And we'll send this to the bottom right. The last one we'll call yellow. Bottom left. Go get our color. Okay, and I'm gonna position these just a little bit. Let's go negative 25% to the left, negative 25% to the top. The red one, which is our top right, we're gonna say negative 25%, negative 25%. The right is gonna be negative 25% from the right and from the bottom. And the yellow will be negative 25% negative 25%. Okay, that's looking good there. Now we wanna just add a little bit of, throw a card on top of it. And so for section, I'm gonna make this relative and I'm gonna give it flex, center, center. And then this dip block, that's gonna be the card that kinda, where is it? This kind of uh, see-through card effect that we have going on here. So I don't know, call this card we'll give this 90 viewport widths and 90 viewport height. Actually, let's set that to min. 
just because we don't want to be hard coding heights. Whoops, that's viewport heights. And this we're going to set to absolute. So it just sits right in the middle there. Now let's give it a background color. We'll go plain white. Sorry, that's text color. Let's go plain white. And it's behind everything, so we'll give it a Z index of, I don't know, five. So now it's on top. And we'll give it, um, yeah, 20 pixels border radius. And let's do 40. Looks a bit nicer. And this background color, I'm going to bring the opacity down. Something like 30. Let's see how that looks. Give it a one pixel border. Make that just, oops. One pixel border. Just a bit off white. And then let's go ahead and give that the backdrop filter. We'll give it a blur. Five pixels. Let's go max it out 20 pixels. You could go more, but that's what we're going to do for now. And just throw some text in here. So again, we're going to flex this our center. And to make this size, we'll give it a size of five viewport widths. Uh, da, da, da. Line height, 1.3 looks good. Let's bring this up a little bit just and change it away from default. Cool, that's looking kind of nice. And you know, these circles, I'm gonna give a little bit of their own blur effect. So I don't want to select the combo class. So we'll click up here inheriting two selectors and we'll edit just the circle class. And I'm gonna add a blur to this under filters so that it applies to all of them. And we'll give that 20 as well. Um, I think I want a little more actually. Let's give that 40. Yeah, look at that, I like that better. Okay, that's really everything that we need to do in the setup. Don't think, uh, just wanna make sure we're good to go there. Let's just hop right into the animation. If uh, I miss something, then we'll discover it during the animation. Essentially what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna grow um, one corner to, we'll use the scale and we'll scale that to like from one to 1 1.5. And then the two in the opposite corners, well, the one in the opposite corner, we're gonna scale up as well, but to not as big as the, uh, as the opposite corner. And then the adjacent two, we're gonna scale those down. So you'll kind of get this flowing effect and we'll just do scale at first. And then after that, we'll apply some moves to really um, add that extra le level of spice. Okay, let's go to interactions. We're gonna do a page trigger on page load. Uh, when page finishes loading is what we want. So let's start an animation and we'll call this BG move. Okay, and first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna apply uh, we'll just set an initial state of one for all of them. And this is for scale. And notice um, I'm doing selected element right now. If I change this to class, it's gonna say circle purple. So it's not, no matter if you do selected or class right now, it's gonna apply it to whichever one since we put those combo classes on everything. And then scale is gonna be one. And the last one, scale. Okay, let's go ahead and duplicate all these. I'm holding down option. Just gonna drag these down here. That did not work as I wanted it to. Mm, it's not working. I think it's because they're set as initial state. So let me set those as initial state again and I'll just do it by hand and we'll see if it works the next round. So what I wanna do is I wanna scale this up to say 1.5. Uh, and then the one ac across from it, I'm gonna scale this to 1.2. Let's see, get bigger. And then the two adjacents, I'm gonna scale those down. So scale those to like 0.7. And same with the yellow. Scale to 0.7. And now we're gonna select them all. I want this to take three seconds. And I'm gonna do something like a in-out sign, I think. We can play with that later if we want. So I'm gonna select them all again and just repeat the same process. I'm not sure why this drag and dropping isn't working for me. Um, it's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. We can just redo this whole thing. Maybe if I copy paste, no, not working. Let's, oh, I 
copy to circle. Let's delete it. Oh, come on, Webflow. Save, delete. What did I do? Which one did I copy? Looks like the first one. Okay. Let's see. And now I need to make sure I set that back. So let's just run it real quick once. You see everything's kind of moving. Cool. All right. And so the next time we're gonna we're gonna grow the red one to 1.5, the yellow one to 1.2, the purple one to 0.7, and the orange one to 0.7. So let's grab the red one which is the one that we're scaling up, 1.5. The one across from it, the yellow one, we're going to scale that to 1.2. And purple, we're going to scale to 0.7. And orange, orange, we're going to scale to 0.7 as well. Let's take all these. Well, we'll do it at the end. The, the timings. Now we're going to do the same thing with orange. So just speed me up if, uh, since we're doing the same thing really on every one. Purple's going to go to 1.2. Red is going to go to 0.7. Yellow is going to go to 0.7. And now yellow is the last one. We're going to scale that to 1.5 means purple is going to 0.7, orange is going to 0.7, and the red is going to go to 1.2. All right, and now something we can do, don't select these ones. These are all our initial states. We want these all to take three seconds, and we want them all to be in out sign. Loop and preview. Look at that. The colors are moving. There's still a little bit left to be desired. Uh, I mean, you could stop there. It looks pretty cool. But I will show you. Oh, wait. I want to make sure that we're not snapping back. So let's watch it here. So now we're going to jump down here. Jump down here. Jump down here. Okay. Ah, oh, shoot. I meant to do it here. You'll see. I want to show you how it resets here. Yellow's getting small. All right. The yellow's going to be the big one now. And we want it to loop, right? Yeah, it's looping. It looks good. Okay. I guess I don't need to show you what I wanted to show you. Watch it one more time. Something we can do to add a little bit more to this is that as something's growing, we'll also go ahead and move it. Uh, so you'll get much more of a, a bit of a wavy effect, I guess. And let's start with purple. So when purple's getting big, let's move. You notice since the Z index is like the yellow's on top, when purple's getting big, we'll, we'll kind of move the yellow one out of the way. That's That's what our strategy will be. So this is where the purple one's moving. So we're going to move the yellow. Sorry, the purple one is scaling. So we're going to move the yellow one. And let's move it down 20%. And left, I don't know, negative 10%. And then we will move it back to 0%, 0% on the next one. And any move, again, we want that to take three seconds. And we'll just make that on ease. This one's going to take three seconds. Set it on ease. And so in this one, the red red circle is growing. So what, we can move the, the orange one out of the way. So there's orange, purple growing, red growing. So move. It's just negative 10%. Uh, actually, we want to move it to the right so it'll be positive 10%. And down, so 10%. Set this on an ease. And then in the next one, we want to reset that move. So back to zero and back to zero. And I'm just going to go through and change the durations at the end here. 
And then, so we have purple growing, red growing, orange growing here. Uh, da, da, da. Orange growing. I think what I want to do, oh, let's just watch it and see. I'm going to set them all to three seconds. You kind of got to just watch and adjust as how you think it's going. You can see that yellow kind of gets way more out of the way now, which is nice. Okay, we haven't done any. I think that, you know, I think that's looking pretty good. Pretty happy with how that's turning out. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. If this helps or you think it's cool, like and subscribe. I will make it clonable so you can go and pick away at it and see. And let's just double check. We kind of checked on everything here. So let's strike these out, and I'm going to pop up another video for you to watch. Uh, if I got some other stuff coming, so click on this next video. Whatever YouTube thinks you should watch is what it's going to tell you to watch. Thanks again. Bye.